Okay, so I ordered the ColourPop foundation and this is what it looks like. It doesn't have a cover, which honestly I don't really like because then it's like, it's I don't know, I just I just prefer a cover to this, but it comes with a lock so you can actually lock it so that nothing comes out. What if you forget to lock it? Because most of the, most of the makeup don't really come, really come with a, a lock, so you can you actually potentially forget to lock it and then you can actually spill. So I do prefer a cover, they didn't provide you with that, but I guess you can slide with that. It comes with a white cover and a lock, and this is what it looks like. It's a really small bottle, you get only 0.85 fluent ounces usually you get one fluid ounces with any foundation so I'm a little concerned about that um I got the shade 175 dark because I actually matched myself online to the lady that they actually provided and the undertones and everything and this is the lady right here she is honestly darker I even thought that she was uh, the foundation was gonna be dark on me because I'm a little bit golden undertone lighter than her finally got this foundation right here and then I looked at it at the bottle and it was it looks lighter than me I, I'm a little concerned like so but I am gonna try it out anyway because I did match it to my skin I'm gonna use this Rimmel primer I'm just gonna say I'm packing because I'm moving to a different location so that's why my background is not here this is what it looks like on my skin it's very watery it's super watery it looks like it matches my hand which is sad because my hand is like 10 shades lighter than me so this is what it looks like oh wow oh wow the coverage on this is not bad not bad I do however see some spots right here Okay, so it's, it looks like it's not a bad match from here. Let's do natural lighting. Okay, so in the natural lighting, it's not a bad match. It's a tad bit light, but it's fine. And we can fix it with contouring. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to be trying out this powder right here. This is the No Filter Setting Powder. The whole collection is a No Fill Collection powder, and this is the shade ben Banana. I'm going to be using this one right here, but this is from the collab concealer and I'm just gonna go ahead and conceal away I me mean, yeah, I feel like it's a little bit full coverage I, I don't like the way it's looking right now I'm gonna contour just a little bit not too much it looks really nice on the skin it is definitely full coverage and it definitely looks nice I mean I'm doing some peeking through right here but that's only one layer that I put on um so this is definitely a pretty foundation three ounces wow you only get 0.3 ounces a regular product a regular one you get one fluent ounce and here you get only 0.3 fluent ounces if you compare it to drugstore since it's an affordable brand you're getting really really small products. I'm gonna use a powder the brush and I'm just gonna go ahead. It, it looks like it's a yellow powder. It's not too tinted, not too yellow, which is nice. I'm just gonna use my beauty blender and I'm just gonna press this. Oh wow. This one is much more finely milled and much more oh wow, it's much softer. Do you guys see this? Okay, so this is the face. This is the part that I haven't even set yet. This is the part that I have set. I like the powder. Okay, you guys, so I just wanted to say this. I want to shut up now and not even complain about this color foundation because that thing just warmed up to my skin. I went ahead and I bought three lipsticks. These are two from the Shayla Collaboration. And then I got this one, which is the um, Lux Me Some Lip or Lux Lipstick. And I got the one in the shade Getty. Really pigmented. so yeah it's really lightweight it's really lightweight on the skin I really like it. I have a I have concealer on I have contour on I have all that on I still feel like I have no makeup on so that's absolutely perfect yeah 10 o'clock wow on the dot 10, 10 o'clock a.m. right here um, I'm gonna go ahead and go about my business it doesn't look 
look like this foundation is going to hold on to the because I'm sweating because I, I did a little walking it's only been like 30 minutes I did a little bit of walking because I have to run some errands it doesn't look like it's going to hold because my sweat is kicking through and already it's starting to look weird so I don't know okay so it is 11.35 right now I did not expect this makeup to last through the sweat it would look like it was going to melt off my face but it looks fine right now which is weird um yeah so the wear test is still going on my skin still looks amazing okay you guys it is 4 p.m right now i'm gonna go ahead and um just say that it doesn't go with me my skin looks horrible absolutely horrible but you know what it, it's been like five six hours so i don't think it's all that bad i'm gonna give it a second chance but i just wanted to update you guys and just end the video right there